That is such a tough loss to take at Wembley, putting through Matty Phillips only for him to take a heavy touch and let Moreno get back. But right on the 90th minute, Klein whips the ball into Henderson. Henderson heads it straight at the keeper. It rebounds out to Balotelli. Balotelli gets a folly off and cracks the bar, but also rebounds once again straight to Mamadou Sacco. He puts it in the back of the net to make it 1-0 for Liverpool in the 90th minute. All of that hard work to get to the final has come to an end. Honestly, I think if we would have kept Charlie Austin, we would have been lifting that cup instead of Liverpool. But I have found out that the manager has sold our top scorer, Charlie Austin, to relegation battle is Sunderland. What. D. F oh. My. Word, where do we start with this? Charlie Austin has gone to Sunderland. What the hell is this manager doing? Look where Sunderland are right now. They are 16th place with 30 points. Oh my word. And he sells our best top score, our top scorer for this season with 12 goals. And he is sitting in the third position in the goal tally chart. Why the hell? Has he sold Charlie Austin? And to make matters worse, we lost against Liverpool in the last episode. We do need to pick things up in this episode. We have Crystal Palace, Watford and Newcastle in this episode. We need to just not get relegated. That's all we need to do for this season for QPR. As you can see, we do pick up the one nil goal there with Polter scoring Kabaya on the ball punching gives it to John of Jovic and he misses it blazes it right over the bar we give it to Traore Traore gives it back to us we give it to Polter the goal scorer there he gives it to oh Mackie unlucky from Mackie hits the side net in there the big boy punching tries to slot it through to Saha oh wicking Blazes it over. Connor Wicking, very unlucky from him. Saha gives it to Jason Punchin. Jason Punchin gives it to Connor Wickham. Robert Green with the big boy save. Nice save from him there. He has been doing some fire all saves for us this season. Bromma Ledley smashes it straight at Robert Green. Robert Green with another save. Simple save for him. Easy. We give it to Emmanuel Thomas. And that is full time, ladies and gentlemen. Very quick game. To be honest, it not many chances. On to the Aston Villa game. We lose 1-0. Oh my word. How the hell are we losing 1-0 to Aston Villa? Speaking of Aston Villa, they have been doing terrible this season in real life. They have got relegated into the championship. Wow, oh wow. That is shocking for Aston Villa. They have been in the Prem for such a long time and they get relegated. What the hell? But on to the game against Watford. And this is a big game, to be honest. Fouling. Does give away a free kick. What was the, what the hell was that? Where the hell did the free kick come from? The ref needs to go to spec savers. This guy is a noob. What the hell, man? And they nearly scored from that. The damn ref nearly gave them a free goal. I don't even know how. To... Man, these refs on this game, man. FIFA EA sort the goddamn refs out because they are absolutely shocking in this game. They are piss poor, man. Holy crap. But we have the ball here. We lay it off to Sandro. Sandro has just come back from injury because remember he was out for a shitload of time and that is a big player. No wonder we've been doing shocking as well. Charlie Austin out. <laughs> Sandro, Charlie Austin out. And oh, man, I'm still disappointed. How? Why the hell would you... Bruh, this manager is such a dumbass, man. How the hell are you selling our best player to, Sun to Sunderland out of all teams in the Premier League? Sunderland. Sunderland, relegation... Oh. I don't even want to talk about it because it really does get me pissed off to be honest. But as you can see this is the 90th minute we slot through Phillips. Phillips, what can I say about this lad? Phillips has been missing some vital chances. Liverpool game. You just have to look back on that boys in the last episode. The link will be down in the description below in case you guys have not seen it. I put Matty Phillips in and the new just takes it away from goal. And then bangs it right in the kit. Oh, I don't even want to talk about that shit. Mitrovic on the ball. He gets tackled by Rakiski. What a challenge by Rakiski there. Musa Sissoko with the free kick blazes it in. Rakiski with the header again. Mitrovic. Oh, Rakiski with the block. And the big boy has been everywhere in this first half. Nice block from him. Uh, Diakite heads it out. Good front tries to shoot it. Diakite blazes it out. 
like a beast, like a boss. Matty Phillips on the ball. We're, we're making a fine run down the wings there. We try to cross it into Bolt. Our Williamson heads it, uh, well, chests it to Tim Crow there. Great defending from him. We give it to Bolt, uh, the beast. Uh, Bolt gives it back. And this new blazes it over. We didn't even ask this new to shoot. I don't even know what the hell this noob was doing. Diakite. This noob gives it to us. We fake shot. We're going to have our first chance. Oh, blazes past the post. Very unlucky for us. Difficult angle also. But we probably should have put that in the back of the net, to be fair. Polter on the ball again. We give it. We slide through to Polter. Polter wins the battle. Oh, straight at Tim Crow. Diakite. Hang your head in shame, mate. That was terrible. How the hell are you missing that? At least cut it back or something. Don't shoot, bro. That was absolutely terrible. Bolt wins the battle, though. Oh, he tries to pull it through. And this new... Oh, my God. Kyoto heads it out there. And Bemba on the ball. The defender. They're going all out attack right now. Good friend. They are two points in front of us, I think, as well. To be honest, Newcastle. So, this is a must-win game for both of us. Uh, we're now them on the ball and it's the 90th minute the second draw of this episode a nil nil draw which we should have we we should have won to be honest I think the Watford game was really tight it was end-to-end -end stuff to be honest anyone could have won that but I think that Newcastle game we should have won and as you can see we are 12th place right there with 38 points and I to be honest they do say if you get 40 points in the Prem, you are safe. So all we need is two more points and we're safe. We're sitting in mid-table right now. But the next games coming up are Man United, Swansea City and Tottenham. Three massive games to be honest. But I'm going to end the video right here guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit a big old thumbs up. Also comment down below and subscribe also. Can't forget and I'll see you later. And we give it to Phillips. Oh, Phillips takes it away. What is he doing, bro? That was our chance to shine.